Hello, my dear friend. So, first of all, I look like a glazed donut today. I'm wearing aquaphor all over my face. It was really dry. Um, secondly, um, you, your eye, it's very swollen. Okay. Well, did you have any other interactions with Karen? And I say other because I know. I know she was in the van. Yes, she was in the van with you. And you never told me. Hmm. Let me just brush your hair back. Now, I'm not angry with you. I know you feel very threatened by Karen. But I would appreciate it if next time you let me know. Okay. I knew something was off the minute I got in the van. And I could just smell the overpowering scent of sweet pea lotion from Bath and Body Works. I just, I knew it. I knew it. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm not angry at you. I have these little nifty things here. I came prepared. I have these little nifty handy dandy things here. And I'm going to just go over I'm, And no, I'm not angry at you. I get it. Um, but next time, just let me know. I won't, I won't be mad. I won't be mad. But now I just know not to leave my keys just anywhere. I gotta keep them with me at all times. Okay, so you saw her in the break room, but she didn't spitball anything. Okay. Well, that's okay. Sometimes you do just get something caught in your eye. Sometimes it just happens. There's something weird going on with that guy. Even, I even gave you a new one. I think it's the eye socket is what I'm guessing. Just massage around. Check the eyelids. Open the eyelids. Open the eyelids. Because you know what? I, I thought these would be great because they have the rounded edges and they probably won't be so pokey in your eyes. Okay. I definitely see something great here. Yep, there's definitely something in your eye. There's something in your eye. There's something in your eye. Keep track of this tube, okay? Keep track. There's something else. I saw Marner. There's something in both corners of your eye. I knew this side seemed swollen too. There's definitely something in the other corners of your eye. Go check them again. Check them again. Go put it up there. Go check them again. There's something in the other two corners of your eye. I don't know what to do about that. Because usually there's always something up there. But you're not going to do it. I don't know what to do. Okay. This might take a little bit extra time.
Maybe I don't know why I'm whispering. I'm just so focused. This is my very last delicate task. I'm going to go in with all three of these. will help to kind of suction it out. I'm very um, bubbly in my throat today. I'm always doing this around dinner time when I'm hungry. My stomach starts growling and my throat starts bubbling. me doing this. She seemed a little suspicious. I wonder, did you take a nap at all today anywhere near her presence? Okay, because I'm really wondering how did we get two things stuck just perfectly in each corner of your lap? I don't know how that works and I, I don't know. I, really, I, I don't know what to tell you. Outside and the sun is so bright, it just makes your eyes water and then you yawn. That's how I feel right now, and the sun feels so nice. It really does. Just take a minute and enjoy the sun. Yay. Very nice. I know you probably can't enjoy it much right now because you're on a swollen eye, but we're gonna get that day. Now, if only these had built-in lights, it would be really fun. You know what? I'm going to double check that my keys are right where I put them. Because I don't want anything crazy happening. Okay. I don't want any one stealing them out from under my nose. So there's definitely something right here in this corner. Definitely something in this corner. Two things here in the 
the corner. They look really kind of pulled out. I just got to The sun is right in my eyes, but I can still see. Sounds really good right now. Popcorn shrimp and Spanish rice. I don't know why, that just sounds amazing. from Mexico. Uh, so my husband's mom, she makes uh, Spanish rice and whenever I see it, I'm like, oh, it looks amazing. I want to make some of my own, you know? And unfortunately, you know me, I'm a germaphobe, especially when it comes to food. And I just, I have this fear of eating at other people's houses. I don't know what it is. I just can't do it. Um, there's only a couple people I can. That's people that I've like, that I've grown up with their cooking. And I trust their cooking. And it's nothing personal to anybody. It's just how my brain works, you know? And thankfully, um, his family's been They've always been very understanding of it. I'm just gonna get quick and put out. And they um, let me know if my talking is annoying you. I know you're in some pain right now. Um, but his family's always been very understanding of it, which I'm so thankful for. Um, but the food always looks amazing, the food she makes. And she always makes this Spanish rice. And I wanted to start making some of my own. It took a while to perfect it, but I think I have perfected it, and I do use minute rice because I, I don't know, I just have the hardest time cooking normal rice. <laughs> it has to be minute rice. So maybe it's not as fabulous, but I think I've done pretty good with the recipe, and um, I love making it. But lately, I've been lazy, and I've been getting the Noors, um, pasta rice things, and I've been getting the Spanish rice one. And don't get me wrong, it's good. It's quick, it's easy, and it's really good for, you know, what it is. But nothing beats home-cooked Spanish rice. So, let's keep looking. Yeah. I don't know, something about it, it is pretty good. And it's really interesting because sometimes I feel like I like Mexican food more than my husband does. <laughs> and he grew up with it. I don't know. But then um, when he met my family, my mom, our family, we always cook very, um, what do you call it? Just very r rich, thick, creamy foods kind of thing, you know? Stroganoff. Um, what else? A lot of things with, like, cream of chicken. <laughs> 
things like that. And um, my husband loves it. He loves it. Oh, fondue. My mom made him fondue once and he, he, it became his favorite for the longest time. Um, but we've also, uh, I've grown up with my mom making fajitas and I love fajitas. They're, it's one of my favorites. And my husband just doesn't like them as much. He really doesn't. And I'll order, um, Mexican food a lot more often than he does. So it's very interesting. He doesn't like salsa. He'll only eat the tortilla chips. And I just, I just find it, I find it very interesting. That's not to say, he doesn't hate Mexican food. It's just that, I don't know. He just, it's not always his go-to. Sometimes I wonder if it's kind of like, you know, when you grow up with something and then you try something different and then you love it so much because it's something different. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. So what are you, what do you think? Like, what's your favorite kind of food that you usually get? I do love Italian food too. Chinese food is really good. Also, I don't know. I just like a variety of foods. I really do. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Italian, definitely, 100%. So good. I'm just gonna keep kind of looking around with both of these tubes in the line. This one's kind of in the way, so I'm gonna. You know, to like a variety of food. It's it's fun to try different varieties. You know. Yeah. But it, I will say it does make me really happy that. Um, my husband likes my cooking. <laughs> Lately, I've been perfecting chicken. I used to, oh boy. Oh, I used to make chicken horribly. Oh my word. I used to um, cook it in the pan, salt and pepper it, and that was it. That was it. And it was always boring and bland to me. Oh my heavens. And, but then I've been learning more and kind of going out of my the box and doing more with flavors. So lately what I'll do is I'll either take the chicken and at first, okay, it was the salt and pepper. And then I upgraded a little to salt, pepper, 
onion powder, and paprika. And I would do quite a bit of each, so it would be very, you know, flavorful. And I'd cook it, and it wasn't bad, it tasted good. But then, then, this was a game changer. I started making it with, um, you know that little bottle of nature seasoning? It has onion powder, garlic powder, um, salt, pepper, all kinds of spices in it. Started using that, so what I'll do now, so, okay, here's the game changer though. Lime. So, I'll just cut the lime in half, squeeze it all over the chicken, and then I'll put on, I'll coat it in the nature seasoning, and I'll do this on both sides. And then I'll add the paprika because it gives it, you know, paprika doesn't have a ton of flavor, I don't think. It just gives it more of a, of a cooked look, I guess you could say. More of a charred kind of look, which I like. And I've started making chicken that way. <laughs> and it's amazing. I love it. My husband loves it. He's like, from now on, he's like, this is... This is the chicken. <laughs> so, no. I like to try new things until I perfect it. <sighs> Maybe I'm just really hungry right now. But I feel like I'm just talking about food. Um, cream cheese chicken tacos are amazing too. Um, I don't know. There's just so many fun recipes out there to make. Homemade mac and cheese, that's really good. I don't know, some good stuff. I'm making you hungry now. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah. I get it. So I'm definitely loosening up the corners. It's um, it's coming loose. This has been working. I can pull at the lids, just scooping it in with the lids to see if there's anything else underneath. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to try pulling at least one of the Okay, so I'm assuming this is what's in your other eye, right here. Um, okay, well, see that? It's definitely the same. Does it hurt? Does it hurt? I don't want to give you splinters. Well, interesting. I don't know how these fit. I don't know how these got into your eye in the first place. Wow. Let me just, I'm just going to. Thank you. 
pretty clear that out. I don't know if there's anything else in there. The stone is a lot down in the city. It looks much better. Okay. I think it looks pretty good. I have an um, itch. Um, okay. Well, what do you say we go inside for some dinner then? And you can relax a little bit, rest your eye. Okay.